The hashtag no more campaign is expanding worldwide and popular people are joining the campaign. Ethiopia diaspora and those who are concerned about Ethiopia are protesting against operations of the Western nations and their intervention in the internal affairs of Ethiopia. And regarding this, we have Mohamed Hamid, Assistant Professor of Political Science and International Studies at Baharada University, Adagas. Thank you very much for joining us in the studio and welcome. Thank you for having me. The hashtag no more campaign is expanding to different parts of the world and lots of people are joining it. What could be the implication of this? Uh, thank you uh, so much. But uh, before uh, responding to this, I would like to have or say some words about the hashtag movement and uh, its objective and the people or the like the organizers behind this. So the hashtag movement uh, is organized by the uh, Horn of African Hub. It is also a social science, social uh, uh, media movement uh, based in US. There are prominent. Uh, people behind this. Uh, some of them are uh, Ethiopians and Eritreans and some of them are actually uh, even Americans and Europeans and some of them are in Africa. So for example from uh, Ethiopia we have uh, Hermila Aragawi uh, and Abi Asfo and also from Eritrea we have uh, Simon Tasfamariam and other prominent scholars uh, from US uh, for example Lawrence Freeman and from Canada we have Jeff Pierce and uh, from Europe also we have uh, Middle Lender and Anna uh, Fitzgerald from Holland. These people are actually the driving force that are uh, having impact behind the n hashtag no more movement. If when we see the objective of the hashtag, hashtag movement, uh, as we know for years, uh, the Western media have been actually orchestrating uh, misinformation, disinformation campaign against this, the law enforcement uh, operation in Ethiopia. Uh, so uh, we have seen their impact and we, I mean, uh, there has to be a response. So in order to actually address and fight and oppose this ongoing disinformation campaign by Western media and uh, diplomatic and economic uh, sabotage, and even sometimes they go further to request uh, for military inter intervention. So an organized um, media or social media movement was very uh, indispensable so that it become uh, apparent now. Uh, so, so when I go to so the, your question, mm -hmm. what are the implications? I think there are uh, uh, so many implications, but the most important things that I see are like I can divide them into three, political, diplomatic and economic. As you know, the political implication media are very important. They actually uh, impact popular opinions. They affect the, op the opinion of the people. So uh, this uh, hashtag movement is doing its best to uh, rally the people in Africa, in the diaspora, and even in globally to understand what is going on in Ethiopia uh, on the ground and uh, uh, selling the factors so that it can change the opinion of the public, the international uh, community, and so that they can, in fact, uh, also uh, influence their government's policy towards Ethiopia and Africa in general. Uh, when we come to, uh, it has also diplomatic impact because, in impact because when there is a pressure from the public, and the status and the governments and agencies will be forced to understand or to accept the fact on the ground. When it come, we came to the economic implications, as you know, the whole this uh, sabotage was in order to weaken Ethiopia economically uh, by, in fact, creating a kind of hypothetical history and uh, chaotic environment or saying that there is chaos in Ethiopia so that uh, investors, business people to leave Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. uh, so having this movement on, on board, we are actually, or the movement is creating uh, uh, that, that or the movement is in fact showing the facts on the ground so that this is in fact a false uh, information and uh, the, the false rhetoric and uh, narration. So, so that both political, impact. diplomatic and yeah. economic uh, benefits, benefits or implications yeah, are implications interlinked. Are in. Yes. So do you think that the expansion of the campaign to different parts will have an influencing power? Of course. Uh, I hope it will have uh, it will make a uh, status to reconsider their uh, decisions re uh, regard to the conditions in Ethiopia, the war in Ethiopia, and their decision. Because uh, we have seen there has been sanctions 
uh, by uh, economic sanctions by the U.S. on Ethiopia and Eritrea. And so this kind of campaigns can have an influencing power in changing in changing their uh, policy and their decision towards Ethiopia. Okay. So, what is your expectation about the outcome of the campaign? Uh, what expe should we expect? Yeah, my expectation is that in the, in the near future, the world will understand mm -hmm. what is in the ground, the realities in Ethiopia, and we are in fact uh, fighting a terrorist group, and we are not fighting each other. So that uh, this fight is also not an Ethiopian fight only, because this fight is a fight uh, on, an, on anti-colonialism and imperialism, and uh, it is a pan-African movement. It is, in fact, uh, a new uh, way of uh, like uh, defending our nation like Adwa. So uh, uh, in hopefully, in, in the near future, uh, these nations, agencies, will understand that the world is behind Ethiopia, and Africa is behind Ethiopia, so that uh, their policy should be, in fact, reconsidered in the near future, and hopefully they will reconsider it. So Ethiopia is fighting against the neocolonialism of the new future? Of course. And all the African countries are with it? Yeah, should rally behind it. So is there anything that you wanted to add yeah, regarding uh, the campaign? Yes, uh, I, th I would like to say that uh, I think media at this time, especially in social media, has an impact, and we have seen what happened in, the, in our country for the last year, so... Yes. We shouldn't sit idle. The least what we can do at this time is to at least uh, make the truth very uh, visible to the world and sell our realities and make the world understand that what is happening in Ethiopia is in fact very different from what the Western media and other agencies are saying. So what you are saying is like we have to join the campaign instead of instead to tell our narrative. Of course, uh, let alone uh, the Africans, the world, and like-minded people and friends of Ethiopia are in fact fighting our war in, 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 the, in the social media. And we are 110 million people. We can actually make a change. We can actually do something uh, in participating on, in making ourselves in, in this movement and make the world understand our truths and our realities in Ethiopia. So, Mohamed Hamid, Assistant Professor of uh, Political Science and International Studies at Baharda University, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Thank you today. for having me.